In the shadow of America's tallest peak, a Pavehawk rescue chopper of the Alaska National Guard is flying at 4,000 feet. Anybody get sick back there? You guys doing okay? Today's mission is to refuel two helicopters in midair simultaneously. Alaska is a massive state. We have about three and a half hours of gas on board. We fly at two miles a minute, so that gives us somewhere in the 400 mile range. Rescues can take over 14 hours, far beyond the fuel capacity of a Pavehawk. With refueling, the only limit is the pilot's endurance. Having the ability to take fuel while we're flying really extends our range. Somebody is two miles below us. A hundred miles north of Anchorage, the Pavehawks hit the rendezvous with the HC-130 right on schedule. Visual. Uh, King is tight. Coming here at 3 o'clock now. Visual in the climb. Got him. The HC-130 has to slow to allow the choppers to fly in formation. Oh, it's helicopter. Got him in sight. At 150 miles per hour, they're close to maximum speed just to keep up. About 130 knots. One wrong movement of the controls could end the mission before it's begun. Good approach. The 95-foot-long transport carries 60,000 gallons of fuel in four underwing pods. You're set for refuel. The choppers will use a probe to extract the jet fuel and refill their tanks. Pilot, go. Captain Aaron Phillips has three attempts to make contact with a 60-foot-long hose before the mission is abandoned. We work as a crew in those scenarios. Good position, good trim. The refueling probe's tip is five inches across. The outer ring of the drogue it has to go into is just nine inches wide. My main focus is on the C-130, kind of just glancing at the other helicopter. Hold your position. They're turning into you. Contact right. Good catch. Captain Phillips connects first time. Feel close established. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's a great feeling when you make a plug. The HC-130 pumps 540 gallons of fuel at high pressure into the helicopter's four tanks. 